Greetings and welcome to the introduction to astronomy. One of the things that I like to do in each of my introductory astronomy classes is to begin the class with the astronomy picture of the day from the NASA website that is apod.nasa.gov apod. And today's picture for July 1st of 2023. Well, it is titled Three Galaxies in Draco. So what do we see here? Well, we see three prominent galaxies located in the constellation of Draco the Dragon, although there are other fainter galaxies scattered around the image if you take a look for those as well. And of course, we also see a number of foreground stars, which are part of our own Milky Way and just happen to be located in the same direction as these galaxies. Now we see a couple different types of galaxies here on the left we see a spiral galaxy looking at it almost but not quite face on we can easily see the spiral structure although it appears to be tilted a little bit at least so we but we can see the spiral arm swirling out from the center and we can see the distinct blue color of those spiral arms then that blue color is associated with star clusters that have recently formed. Now recently in astronomy can be in the last million years or so, but they are relatively recent because we know that those hot blue stars in those clusters, the ones that are dominating those spiral arms do not live for a very long time. So the fact that we still see them and if they only live a couple million years means that they must have formed in the last couple of million years, otherwise they would already be gone. So the presence of bright star clusters like these blue clusters we see are associated with recent star formation. Now we can contrast that with the galaxy next to it, which is an elliptical galaxy. Note how there is no blue there. We do not see any of the blue clusters that we are used to seeing on the spiral galaxy to the left. An elliptical galaxy is just a blob of stars and has not formed stars for billions of years and stars have gone through their lives. So any blue stars that once existed there have long since gone through their lives, evolved and died and become either black holes, neutron stars or white dwarf stars. There is nothing left behind. Uh, nothing under those stars are left behind because that elliptical galaxy does not have any any gas or dust from which to form new stars. Now on the right hand side we see another spiral galaxy. Now this one you'll note that we don't see the spiral arms. It's turned edge on to us. However we can see the distinct dust lane going through it. Dust is also a distinctive property of spiral galaxies and associated with their star forming regions. And we do not see that in an elliptical galaxy. In addition, an elliptical galaxy is always a blob of stars, maybe like a sphere, maybe like an American football, but nothing that is as flat as the very thin object we see on the right hand side. Now this is actually a small group of galaxies, can't really call it a cluster because there's only a couple of galaxies there, but this is one prominent grouping and these do are all about the same distance from Earth, about 100 million light years away. So we get to see here two different types of galaxies, spiral galaxies on either side, one close to face on, one close to edge on, and an elliptical galaxy in the middle. So that was our picture of the day for July 1st of 2023. It was titled Three Galaxies in Draco. We'll be back again tomorrow for the next picture, previewed to be over and under. So we'll see what that is about tomorrow. And until then, have a great day, everyone. And I will see you in class.